40 seconds remaining in round oh. number three. Oh, oh. look at he's Hanada. Just letting, he's just letting him hit. <laughs> Matapos ang sunod-sunod na panalo dito sa Pinas, ay nabigyan ng pagkakataong mapasama bilang undercard sa Labang Casimero kontra Filipos itong batang Pinoy boxing prospect na tubong General Santos City, ang 24 anyos pa lang na si Vince Asuncion Paras. Noon pa man ay makikitang may passion na sa boxing ang batang ito. May video pa nga na naitrain ito ni Coach Freddy Roach dati. At noong Sabado lang ay isa si Vince Paras sa undercard ng Labang Casimero vs. Pilipos. Nakaharap niya sa laban ang isang Japanese prospect din ang kilalang knockout artist na si Ayumu Hanada. Mas matangkad ang hapon na may height na 5'7 and 1 half habang 5'2 and 1 half lang ang Pinoy. Bago ang laban ay may record ang hapon na 10 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw, walo via knockout. Habang 18 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw, 15 via knockout naman ang Pinoy. Non-title fight at nakeschedule lang sa walong rounds. Sobrang dihado ng Pinoy sa mata ng mga analyst at kahit sa pustahan ay lamang talaga ang hapon dahil mas matangka daw ito at kilalang knockout artist. Pero sa mismong araw ng bakbakan ay buong pusong pinakita ni Kabayan ang galing na kahit mas maliit ito ay ginamita naman niya ng diskarte para makatama ng klaro. Nakipagsabayan ng suntukan at tila di tumalab ang pagiging knockout artist ng hapon sa tibay ng Pinoy. Pati ang pagiging matangkad ng kalaban ay walang epekto kay Kabayan. Ating balikan ang maaksyon nilang bakbakan. Breaking down the action as round one is underway. He needs to throw his jab, or, um, the records. That was a good jab by the Japanese. Start to be the, are you more? Did too much of what's happened. Compared to head coming in there. Look like he just did. Just keep his distance, use that jab and that one too. Canada holding the phone, trying to protect himself. His power in there. Coming up on a minute remaining in the very first round. With his hands up, you know. He had the high guard going. No, no, <laughs> let, let, let's, get, let's get to it. Good, old, good, good, right? Person to just 10 second warning in the very first round. Paras. Good exchange. Paras coming in with that hook. Right. Yeah, and it's the very I first round. Nice connection. The body. It's a great strategy. And Hanada is, is coming in. He wants to do it. Sometimes that's the preconceived notion with long and lengthy fire. Yes. Features. You don't want to get. Um, especially with the fact. So, being that there's eight rounds in this fight, I want to make sure that you know, they're concerned just to throw it. Make sure it's a fact. Nice body shots. I love the body shots in this round. Oh, Vince Paras. Trying to cut. Paras is doing a great job. Coming up on a minute remaining now. Canada going back to that, that left hook counter that Canada seems to want to throw. Walking in or jumping in. Because again, Good point. Again, reminding everyone both of them have significant punching power. <laughs> you want. 10 second warning in this round. Action packed affair. Check out the highlights in the previous round. Nonito, we saw uh, Vince Paras with more activity, more aggression against Ayu Overhand and the hook. Now, when you're throwing a lot of body shots, guess what? You're going to start dropping that hand, and then that opens up the, the head shots for Paras. Three bouts scheduled for eight. They're definitely going at it again, so both guys are just going for going by Paras. In the, in, in, in the in the physical aspect, Paras to Hanada, who is more of a quicker guy. Oh, nice body, head, body. Very good. Nice one by Paras. Another one by Paras. Good overhand. I mean, Hanada also is just going for it. And sometimes when you're just throwing a lot of punches, the uh, the punching power open for a counter. Paras trying to go for the body, making those hands drop. Round number three. And, oh, that was two good little uppercuts out there from Paras. 40 seconds remaining in round oh. number three. Oh, look at he's Hanada. Just letting, he's just letting him hit. But Paras says, I don't mind, let's go. <laughs> it's either it breaks Paras 
be, to see if... 10 second warning, round number three. I, I have to say this fight is a very tiring fight, but it's a very exciting fight to watch. <laughs> this is what we all want to see. Uh, Vince Paras eat a four punch combo from Hanada, but just stood there and was willing to exchange. Yes, of course. And the thing is, we don't want to see that, from right? And if there's only 40 seconds left, he could have. It's Paras because this is an inside fight. Paras is the shorter guy. Two and a half remaining in round number four. Middle. If you're a fan of brawls, this is what you want to see. Like now they're starting to slow down a little bit. I believe the action's still there, but as far as them. Paras is throwing more jab this time around. Uh, both fighters just. Oh, big shot there by Paras. Did that rock Canada? No, he's still firing away. Counter. In round one and two, starts to take a. Oh! Stuns him, stuns Hanada. Oh, Hanada, a little glassy there. Trying to fight his way. Jab. He's just choosing to slip. But he's leaving his chin right up there for Paras to take. He can't be careless, though. 10 second warning. Big hook! Big exchange! What a round! Good counter hook. Oh, and a straight coming from Paras. Champion, the Filipino Flash, Lanita Donaire. And of course, Rachel denied it, joining us as well. And Rachel, uh, key observations. Man was able to capitalize on whenever um, Hanada was just standing there. That's when, when he start, when he hit him with the strip, whether or not he thought it was coming. Nice body shot from Hanada. I think the jab was able to land because of that jab, that, that Paras. Earlier we saw the toughness of Hanada again, eating shots with separation or, or just feeling the cost. Uh, the Good body shot. See, that first on impact, but then as you go through, Hanada has the same or similar, and, yeah. and getting hurt in the body. Yeah. And let's remember, guys, we are in the 112. Uh, and he's throwing that jab and head movement. Good, good shot in, in the early rounds. But yeah, again, just pressing it on and keeping the distance to his favor. Back a little and use that jab a little more. I think that was a good idea because he needed to regain his game plan. He needed to establish it again um, and reset, really. Actually started with the jab. That's a smart move considering willing to unload. Oh, big shot there by Hanada. Again, that, that jab. And unguarded. Before, I feel like he had more. The hands of Hanada. But ha that more than one occasion. Oh, good Slip straight hooks, right? Head movement again. A good overhand. Like Rachel was saying. Take his feet with him and not reach. For Hanada. Oh, big shot by nice Paras. Over right. That was a... oh, oh, big bombs. Oh, both guys. Walk us through that. That was a big shot by Hanada. But look at the heart of Vince Paras firing right back. Both guys actually getting hit and firing back. He does back have a great hit. job. He, could, he pumps it off really quickly. Nice overhand right. Oh, That's Kernet. three. Three landed. But look at Hanada standing there and taking it. And the thing not as dominating as it that is. Every uh, weight into the punch. And it's... Oh, Hanada getting hit now. Now gets back into a corner. Body shots. Went down the sides. Overhand right. Slow down a little bit. Oh, you gotta set it up with the jab. Which can actually... You want to see Paras move? That was great. That was target where he, where Hanada is just picking him off with jabs. We will head. Well, this the is it. You know, you just gotta give it all you got, especially a close fight like this one. Both guys getting hurt. Both guys landing punch. And I think Paras just wants to to win, convince, to set up his own things. Us. You know, in the last two rounds. Or Good one. For an angle, dancing around much more. He's moving to get out of out and into angles that are, are punch uh, punch ready for. Go the distance. Good hook straight from Hanada. And yeah, both guys speak of, of the hearts that they have. Oh, oh, big shot. That was a. He, he is able to hit Hanada with a jab. It's snapping his head back. And I think that might switch judges a lot because he is. Stay aggressive, stay aggressive. 10 second warning. The final round. 
Oh, big shot, Paras. Another one by Paras. What an end. Wow. What a finish. Good. Good closing. Panalo si Vince Paras sa bakbakan. Isang upset na panalo. Bugbog sarado ang inabot ng dayong hapon. Natapos ang laban. Naduguan pa ang ilong. Isang tagumpay na naman ng Philippine Boxing ang pagkapanalo at ngiting tagumpay din ang makikita sa ating pambato. Porsigidong manalo dahil pala sa malaking premyo at ang malaking unan ay este, propio na hawak-hawak nito. Hi guys, this is Mark Magnifico Magsayo. You are watching Channel Manoy.